Hey guys, have a great morning. As everybody knows, you know, the election is over. Usually I never get into politics. You know, I believe that, you know, this election was very down the center. Either you were on one side or the other side. And, you know, I voted for somebody, but I'm not going to put that personal beliefs out here. Um, I believe that everybody's entitled to their own opinion on their own beliefs. That's why we live in America, freedom of speech. You know, I, I believe that you know, you can go down and vote for whoever you want to and you have your personal right as a person in the United States to go and do that. We're, you know, founded on freedom here and that's what we're supposed to be doing. So I'm not gonna tell you who I vote for, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm a little bit sad and worried for my daughter's future due to Sasha has a disability and what the future now may hold for her. Before this, I was, you know, always worried for her because as a parent with special needs and a child with a disability, you're always thinking about the future and what kind of funds and what kind of programs are out there. It's not like your normal average, you know, my son who's going to be 18 soon enough, okay, go to college, okay, get a job, go support yourself, you got this. As a mother to a child with disability and special needs, our challenges as a parent, as the child gets older, get even harder. You know, when they're little, they're easy to transport, they're cute, you know, you can go and put them anywhere. But as they get older, you know, it's, it's more harder to transport, you know, it's harder to find services, especially when they get over 18 here in our state. And I feel that, you know, I give peace a chance with the new president. I'm always very open-minded. I'm always, you know, let's see what happens. Maybe good things will, ha will happen. I believe the protesting that's currently going on will not do anything except make more hatred and more divided amongst us as Americans. Um, I believe that, you know, let's see where this goes and what happens with it. I mean, I have issues with some of the things that Hillary said, yes I do. I have issues with some of the things that Trump said, yes I do. My number one issue with Trump was the way he made fun of some um, a reporter with a disability. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, that was just the political campaign getting involved and, you know, it was just the news getting out of hand and he never met this guy and, you know, then he tried to cover it up. And as a special needs parent, I have a big problem when people, especially as adults who want to run as our president of the United States, making fun of the dis disability community and special needs community. You know, maybe he can't relate to it on a personal level due to the fact that maybe he's never raised a child such as I has or has a family member with a disability. And, you know, I always say to those type of people that you have to go and step back and maybe step in the, the shoes of that person for an entire day. So sorry to have to do a couple takes for this. I had to stop videotaping due to a phone call for Sasha. Sasha's having such a hard time. I, I'm trying to get a grip and I appreciate the great comments about, you know, anxiety and what it does to somebody because I don't go through it. She's been running off and taking off and not happy about safety at all and she ran and fell on the bathroom and now she has a lump on her head and she's in the nurse's office. So we're trying to get that under control. I don't know what the anxiety is about, but anyway, like I said, you know, it's time to open up our minds and, you know, instead of 
protesting and I see all this stuff on the news about anger and riots, you know, it's time to make your voices be heard more than any time right now. Make it heard to anybody. Make your voice count. You are an American. You are a part of the, the election that just happened, whether you're happy about it or not. Make some positive out of it instead of negative because we can't dwell on what happened because he has it now and he has control. So we have to you know, support him and what he's doing instead of being negative. And maybe good things will come out of this. I'm optimistic myself. And you know, back to the disability thing. A lot of people think, oh, you know, disability, you know, no need for services when they get older. And Trump almost acts like disability at 18 just suddenly magically disappears and the child doesn't need services or you know, nurses in the home or, you know, they don't need medical equipment anymore. The need only gets greater. And, you know, I have fears for Sasha when she gets older. You know, where is she going to live if something happens to me? You know, are her services going to be cut off? You know, a $3,000 wheelchair now only gets more expensive in the future. So is it going to be covered? Because medical equipment for a special needs child is through the roof. The bike we were gifted was over $3,000. When it's labeled with special needs, it is truly incredibly expensive. You know, is Social Security going to be there for her in the future? I mean, it's a major thing. Are there going to be programs when she's over 18 to help her succeed in independent living? And where am I going to put her? So these are all huge things on my mind. I mean, as long as I'm here, I will always take care of Sasha and she can always live in my home. But you know, when you get to be in your 50s and your 60s and everything else, it gets hard to lift a special needs child. And the process only gets a little bit more difficult rather than easier. So that's my opinion. And I'm sorry if it was totally long winded, but I just, you know, I really think unity needs to come right together now and make our voices be heard and not the negative. And I'm not too happy with some of the things that Trump, Trump has said about people with disability and services that he's planning on cutting. And do I, I, I cried. Yes, I did. And I have huge fears about this, but we can't dwell on it. We can only make it positive. We recently um, also voted on state representatives and the guy got it, not to mention names, in our local town. And I believe he's going to have some positive change as well and hear our voices within our community and our town. So I'm looking for positive change because it seems like the people with disabilities and special needs, especially in the school system or in society, get lost because they're such a small percentage, especially in our area. So nobody sees the need. But we got to make our voices heard so people know there is more of a need for it. So hey guys, have a great night.